be anyone you want, Elton John. If I was going to do a movie of my life, or someone's going to do it, I didn't want to do a biopic. My life when I started to become famous became really, really extraordinary and kind of surrealistic. And that's how I kind of wanted the film to be. I mean, I wanted it to be fun, and I wanted it not to take itself too seriously. That is a fat boy from nowhere. Get to be a soul man. The wonderful thing about them is everyone feels a sense of ownership because these songs are there at, I mean, defining moments in people's lives. And all we can do is, is give our own heartfelt, deeply considered interpretation of his life and his music and hope that people connect with it. The two major set pieces in this film for me and certainly for Taron in terms of his piano playing are Crocodile Rock, which takes place at the Troubadour Club in LA, which was Elton's big American break, and Your Song, where we see Elton making the, uh, making the chords of the first workings out of it and then showing it to uh, Bernie Taupin. Crocodile Rock has certainly been the most technically challenging in terms of the speed, the rock and roll elements, boogie the improvisation, all of these, all of these things combined. Um, and the amount of work that Taron has put in to absolutely nail that performance has been uh, truly remarkable. Absolutely terrifying. I mean, I can, I can literally get naked on the stage in front of 2,000 people and that's much easier than you know singing some song lyrics in front of you know five people in a room. I think it's I find it very exposing, and I'm not naturally gifted when it comes to song or dance. But I suppose much like anything else, you just work hard enough at it. I just thought this was so fantastical. I thought this, if an Elton John story was going to be told, this is exactly how it should be told. It's the right tone. It's colourful. It's vibrant. It's psychedelic, it's dark, you know, it goes to some dark places as well. On such a timeless flight. My life has not been dull, as you know. What I wanted to go to cross with the movie was the, the incredible price of fame, the incredible effect one's upbringing has on you, how lonely it can be. It had to be as honest as possible. But as I say, the lows were very low, the highs were very high. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't much balance in between. I've been lucky enough to meet Elton and spend time with him. He's someone who has been such a force for good in the world in so many ways, both as a creative and a sort of philanthropist. But there are very kind of fixed ideas we have about his character and his tempestuous nature. And, and I hope that what our film does is go some way to humanising some of that. That's what was always at the front of my mind. 